Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the recursive search algorithm in a binary search tree. So we have discussed the theory section of the binary search tree, the overview on the binary search tree in our previous video. But in this video we are going to perform a function or which is the search, search function on the binary search tree in a recursive manner. That is we are going to call the uh, operation in a recursive way that is calling by itself. So there can be search operations which can be done in an iterative way as well. So we will go into that iterative uh, way search in the next video. But in this video we are going to perform, I am just going to perform an, uh, a recursive search in order to explain you how the recursive search is done on a binary tree. Suppose a binary tree, let me just draw a binary tree or a simple binary tree on the board and uh, uh, show you what I am going to do that is what is the searching technique uh, especially. So let me just uh, draw a binary tree like this, suppose this is a binary tree, binary search tree rather. Suppose this is a binary search tree. So here suppose the value is 10, here suppose the value is 5, here suppose the value is 8, here suppose the value is 15. So this is a binary search tree. Uh, so in this uh, binary search tree if I want to find the element 8. So if the key value is 8 that is if we want to find 8 in this binary search tree or want to search the value 8 in this binary search tree, how would we, would we uh, perform that uh, algorithm? We will just begin with the root node of the binary search tree that is the value uh, where the value is 10. We will compare this k value with this uh, root node value that is 10. And uh, if we see that the value matches over here, then the search operation ends at that point uh, only. Uh, we don't have to, uh, we don't need to go into further search because we are getting the uh, key value in the root node itself. So in that case, uh, we will not uh, uh, proceed with the search algorithm. Now we'll uh, return this. Uh, uh, we'll return a 1 uh, if a successful search is found. Uh, this is the logic which I am going to follow in my algorithm. That is, if I uh, perform a successful search, then I am going to return 1. If I perform a, a, a failure search, a search operation which, is, which results in a failure, we will going to return a 0. So, in this case, if you find this 8 over this root node, that will be a su successful search in the first step. We will return 1 in that very first instance. And in this case, if we see that this 8 is not matching with, with this 10, we will compare what is this 8 as uh, in terms of value, whether 8 is more than the root node value or less than the root node value. If this key value is less than the root node value, since this binary search tree is partitioned in a left right manner as you know uh, already. So, we will get this 8 because it is a less value than this root node value, we will obviously get this. 8 value on the left subtree of this binary search tree having the root uh, node with a value of 10. And uh, if the value would have been greater than 10, if we are going to search suppose 15 or 12 or 18 or something like that, we would have been going to uh, the right subtree of the binary search tree. So in this case, uh, since this value is 8 which is less than the value 10, we will go to the left subtree, leave aside this right subtree, go to the left subtree and perform our search in a recursive manner uh, in this way. Now we will consider root to be root of this left subtree to be the root node containing the value 5. We will again do the same operation that is we are going to uh, compare the values of this root node and this uh, key value. So these two values do not match. So in this case, we find that the key value is more than the root node value. In this case, I will go to the right subtree of this root uh, of this subtree. So this subtree starts with, uh, with the root node 5 and we will go to the right subtree and right subtree begins with here and we will go to this right subtree portion where there is only one node you can see and we will again do the recursive operation in a similar way as we have done in the first two instances that is we are going to compare this key value with this root node value these two matches this two match and then we see that the, the search operation which we are performing in this algorithm is a successful one and we are going to return one out of this uh, function. So I am going to write this uh, 
entire operation in terms of C function and uh, that will be a recursive uh, uh, function to be written and uh, let me just wipe off this binary tree and write the function first and let me explain it to you. So, as I have written the code of this function that is the recursive search function in a binary search tree, let me explain what I have written over here. I have taken the return type as int that is the data type of the return value will be int that is what I am explaining before what I was explaining before that I am going to return 1 if the algorithm uh, is successful if the search is successful and if the search is a failure operation then we are going to return 0 for that I have taken this uh, return type as int named the function to be rec search which uh, resembles the operation the name resembles the operation that is recursive search we have taken two uh, formal arguments to this uh, function that is the bs node star root and int k so what is this bs node star root bs node star root is nothing but uh, a pointer to the structure bs node that is a node which represents the node of the binary search tree so let me write the structure definition in order to show you what I have done over here that is suppose I am writing like this type def struct bs node int data and bs node star left star right bs node so this is the structure definition of the node of a binary search tree suppose the binary search tree node will look like this like this there will be a left pointer there will be a right pointer there will be a data value so there are three portions in the in a node of a in a typical uh, uh, in a node of a typical binary search tree that is one part containing data part and the other part is a pointer uh, to the data type bs node that is the left pointer on this side and the right pointer on this side so we have taken this uh, we have written the definition of the of the bs node structure in that manner that is int data bs node star left bs node star right bs node so this uh, bs node type of pointer is the is the is the variable root so root is nothing but a pointer to the bs node uh, structure and uh, int k is the value which is, which will be supplied by the user in uh, which is the key value of this function that is the value which we want to search in the binary search tree so uh, this int k value is nothing but the key value so now we just enter into the body of the function and uh, let me see what i have done here see suppose if root equals null if root equals null what does this mean what uh, it means that the binary search tree is not there that is the root node of the binary search tree is pointing to null that is it is a null pointer root node is a null pointer if the root node is a null pointer there is no question of the existence of the binary tree as such as the root node points to the null so in this case we will not find the binary search tree at all in this way the successful operation is not at all possible the operation will be uh, definitely uh, a failure operation that's why in that case I have just returned 0 in order to signify that uh, the operation is a failure operation after that if it is a binary search tree having a, at least one node in it so in that case we will perform the rest of this code so in that case suppose I have a binary search tree like this Suppose this is 10, this is 5, this is 8, this is 15, like this and I am going to search suppose 8. So, if this in this case, if root in this code, if root data equals k, that means if root data equals k, that is first the root starts from here, the root data is not equal to k. So, we will just compare this, uh, uh, compare the value of root data and k and see whether the values match. So, uh, suppose I am going to find this k is equal to as 8. So, I am not finding a match in this root section. So, in that case return 1 will not be this 1 will not be returned and in that case I will go to the 
other if uh, section that is the if root data less than greater than k else return root uh, 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 there is an if else part over here let me explain from here only if root data greater than k that is if the root data is more than the key value that is the key value of our case is 8 and root data is 10 so this case is similar to what has been written over here that is root data is greater than the key value that is root data is 10 and key value is 8 so in that case we were explaining a bit earlier that uh, in that case we will find the we will try to uh, search the value the key value on the left subtree of the binary search tree starting with the root starting with the root containing the value 10 in that case so what will perform a recursive operation will be performed in a similar way as this function was called so this function will be again called in the body of the function itself in a recursive manner by this code that is return rec search rec search is the name of this function so it is a recursive function as you can see return rec search what are the arguments arguments are root left and k k will remain unchanged because the key value is unchanged k is constant but root left what is this root left root left is nothing but the root of the left subtree that is the left subtree of this entire binary search tree starting from the root node containing the value 10 is the root node containing the value 5 so this is the root left uh, with respect to the root containing the value 10 and now we come to this left subtree having the root value root data as 5 so we will just come to this address suppose the root value to begin with was 655 and this is the value 755 this is the address location this is 855 say this is 955 or something like that so we will come we will enter the algorithm by this value 655 and 8 now this algorithm will be called by a value of what root left root left means now it is the root so it is the address of the root so this is the address of the root is now 755 looking like 785 755 and this k value remains unchanged that is 8 and now we will perform it in a similar manner as if we are going from here so if root equals null so we see that it is not null we come to this portion if root data equals k return 1 so root data is not equal to k because this is 5 and this is 8 it never they never match to each other now we'll come to this section again if root data greater than k see this root data is 5 k is 8 this is not this case to deal with that is root data is not greater than k here we will go to the else portion that is the case where the root data is less than k that is root data is 5 which is less than 8 in this case we are going to perform the operation in a reverse in a just reverse manner that is return rec search whatever will uh, what i will write here that is root right k k will remain unchanged as 8 and what is root right we will go to the right subtree beginning with the root node value of what root node value uh, beginning with the root node uh, address value as 955 containing a value 8 now again we enter this code so we see that it is not null we go to this portion if root data equals k see this if root data equals k root data is what 8 what is our key value that is also 8 so we find a match in this case so our success our search has become successful in this instance so in that case since it is a successful search we are going to return 1 uh, according to the logic of the algorithm which i have written on the board so uh, in that case we will return 1 from the function and then we find the successful search uh, then we find the search operation is successful so this is the entire logic uh, in which the recursive search algorithm uh, goes on in a binary search tree so if you have any doubts or queries pertaining to this uh, function you can well post your doubts and queries into the comment section so that i can address them thanks for watching this video